Brendan, the title is in the back, surely. 2-1 win over Rangers. That's 11 wins in only four Old Firm games this season. The Rangers fans must be absolutely devastated to lose the league at Celtic Park. Yeah, look, you know, um, I'm very proud to be here. Um, look, for me, you know, I feel, you know, a wee bit sorry for the, you know, the Rangers supporters. You know, they've not took it very well. You know, I know they've cancelled the, you know, the trophy parade. Um, but it's okay, you know, we can take that cancellation, no problem. Um, and, you know, I've just seen Chris Boyd, you know, kicking a cardboard cutout of John Lundstrom down Sucky Hall Street. So, you know, he's not took it very well, a poor wee guy. But look, you know, it's not over yet. You know, I'll be speaking to my players tonight at the, you know, the winning the Premier League trophy parade um, in Glasgow City Centre. Because, look, if we lose our next games 15 nil, and Rangers win their games 37 nil. You know, the Rangers could, you know, probably still finish second. So my nerves are gone. You know, it's not over yet. It's going to go right to the, you know, Wednesday. So I'm very proud to be here. Some very good performances today. But who would you say was man of the match today, Brendan? Yeah, look, for me today, you know, there were some outstanding players on the pitch for us. But I think John Lundstrom was, was man of the match for us. He was outstanding. You know, the composure he shows there, you know, under no pressure whatsoever. And he just slots the ball into the corner. You know, outstanding player um, for me. And you know, when when he was sent off, I was absolutely devastated. You know, it felt more like we went down to ten men. And look, you know that guy. You know, he, you know, we'll be speaking to the Scottish FA to appeal that because we need him. You know, for the Scottish you know cup final. You know, he'll he'll make the difference. And you know, he we'll definitely be sending him a medal because you know he's played his part. You know, and you know what a guy. I'm so proud of John. Kenny Miller said on Sky after the game that John Lundstrom assassination attempt was not a red card. Do you agree? Yeah, look, you know, Kenny's, you know, Kenny Miller, you know, is entitled to his opinion. You know, and when you do slow it down, he's got a point because uh, Lundstrom's, you know, foot is only about, you know, neck high. So, you know, it wasn't that, you know, wasn't that bad. But, you know, I, I spoke to Kenny after the game and, you know, you can't take him too serious. You know, he, he actually said to me, you know, Cyril Dessa should win, you know, the Ballon d'Or. And he was going for a pint with the Loch Ness Monster in Kitty O'Shea's and uh, Glasgow City Centre. So, you know, you can't believe everything that Kenny sees, but, you know, wonderful guy. Very proud to be here. And Philip Clement started really well, but he seems to have lost the plot, Brendan. He seems to talk the talk, but can he walk the walk? Yeah, look, you know, I feel really sorry for Philip. You know, he doesn't look too good. I think he's caught a wee dose of the Michael B. Lurgy. You know, it happens to other Rangers managers. You know, they come, they talk, and then they, you know, they just end up, you know, you know, looking dishevelled and, you know, finishing second. That's just the way it works. But I think this is definitely the toughest job Philip's ever had, you know, apart from the time he played Skeletor in the He-Man cartoons. Um, but look, I said to Philip after the game, look, Philip, you know, it's times like this, all you can do is look up. And if you do, you'll see Celtic six points ahead and, you know, 300 goal difference ahead of you as well. So, you know, but, you know, that guy, you know, he'll do well for the next six months before he's replaced by Frank Lampard. I have to mention it, Brendan. Celtic fans throwing coins at James Tavernier. Just not acceptable. No, no, there's a misunderstanding. The Celtic supporters were throwing coins on the pitch for me. Um, <clears throat> you know, to sign some players in the summer. Um, and when I went over, you know, there's about £7.70 uh, £7. there altogether. And that's double what Dermot Desmond's offered me for players. So, um, look, you know, it won't get me a lot. Uh, it might get me, um, you know... Uh, can of Iron Brew, some Haggis, um, Connor Goldson, Cyril Dessers and James Tavernier. Uh, and uh, look, you know, the Celtic supporters are outstanding. Look how passionate they are, you know, giving me money. But it wasn't aimed at, at James Tavernier. Trust me, you know, you know, very proud to be here.